Hey, what's up everybody? I've got another uh, watch unboxing for you. Um, this one's pretty cool. I've been waiting on this one for a roughly two weeks, I think, since I've ordered it and it's finally come in. Um, for the unboxing, I'm gonna do use the uh, Benchmade Bug Out. This is the uh, Cabela's Best Pro Shop exclusive with uh, gray G10 handles and a S30V orange Cerakoted blade. Um, pretty cool knife, so. Um, probably need to do a review on that one or show it off a little bit more. Pretty nice knife. So let's get this box open carefully. This one did come from China. Um, took roughly two weeks to get here. It would have been delivered yesterday, except for it's uh, Labor Day weekend. And obviously the post office wasn't going to deliver on Monday. So packaged really well, completely taped up. Um, so that's, that's, that's a plus. Let's take a look at the box. So again, really good packaging, really well wrapped. I ordered this directly from the company who supplied it. Wow, okay. Well, so first off, that's awesome because I did not order this. Basically, it looks like a Seiko waffle strap. I don't know if they just threw that in, just, I don't know if that comes with the, the watch, but I, it didn't say that on the website or anything. So this is just a complete extra. So that's awesome. Very cool. Cause those are, I love, I love these straps. I, mean, I don't know what brand this is, but the waffle straps, they look so good on dive watches. So this is, this is awesome. This is a plus. I mean, I just paid like 25 bucks for one of these a couple weeks ago. So cool. Set that aside. Okay. Start of the show. As you can see, it's a Heimdaller. It's got that sharky shark symbol. Let's open it up and take a look. Sorry, my lighting lighting might be a little bit dark, but I, I use natural light. I think it looks kind of nice, so gives you good representation. So there's the inner box. Move this out here, get some more light. So let's open this up. Pretty nice box as far as overseas watches go. Okay, and I've been very anxiously awaiting this one. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is the new James Bond 007 No Time to Die watch. This is a homage of the Omega No Time to Die. Um, the Omega of this watch costs $9,000 and some change. Um, I have a lot of high-end watches. I even have an Omega Seamaster. I just like the looks of this watch, but it's not something that's up on my list. I've got some other high-end watches that um, are higher up on my list to purchase. Um, but I like this one so much and I really want to wear it to when I go see the movie that when it comes out. So, um, that's why I bought it. Uh, this one, some people say is almost like a clone cause it's so close. Um, it's not, it's got the shark symbol all over it. Um, they've changed the date window, which I'll show you. So it's not a clone. It's an homage. There's tons of homages and, uh, I don't have a problem with it. Um, clones, different issue when they have the same branding the same exact watch, things like that. That bothers me when people are trying to essentially pose as if they have the real thing when they don't, the Rolex emblem, things like that. But this is not that, this is an homage. Okay, so there it is. Very cool. Already I'm looking for things that I always look for you. Alignment with the bezel to the dial, to the case and all that. Very light right off the hand. So this is a titanium case, a real titanium case, like the original, like the real Omega. Stainless steel bracelet. They saved some cost there. Um, you know, I'm sure if you wanted to, you could buy the Omega bracelet. I'm sure it cost a fortune, but you could put that on here if you really, really, really wanted to. Um, same type of class the Omega No Time to Die uses but with their logo, not an Omega logo. This is the Sea Ghost. Very cool titanium case. Looks exactly like the real thing. Looks good. The alignment looks perfect. It's already going. Blue AR coating, which I see that right off the bat. You get a lot of blue, a ton of coating on this one. Um, it's got a domed sapphire crystal. A little bit more domed than the original. I think the original might even be flat, possibly. Um, it's got that bezel. I believe this one's loomed. I think the bezel's loomed on this one. I'll have to get a loom shot at some point. Um, 
Seiko NH35 movement, like most of these homage watches have. The original obviously has the Omega symbol, the British military symbol, and then the date window. Uh, the original doesn't have a date window, actually. This one does, and they've moved it to the six o'clock position, which I like. I like a date window a lot. It's very useful for me, um, so that's cool. Uh, and also, it takes away from it being a, uh, a clone, you know. Case back, Sapphire Crystal, you've got the Heimdaller logo. Heimdaller, in case people don't know, it's like Heimdaller or something like that. It's um, kind of like, you know, Thor and Odin uh, mythology. Heimdaller, I think, is the keeper of the, oh, the bridge to Jotunheim or something. Something. He's some kind of god or something. So that's what that's about. I thought it was kind of corny until I read about that he's a... Norse god, which is kind of cool. So, titanium case, like it says, 200 meters water resistant. I don't know if these are tested or not, but I don't dive, so I jump in a pool, and they've always worked for me for that. The titanium has got a very weird, crunchy. It so they warn you even on the website that they're like, this is a titanium case. It's gonna feel strange, crunchy, gritty. And it does, that's how it feels. It does not feel good. It sounds weird, it feels weird, but they even warn you on the website, like, look, this is how it's supposed to feel. It's a titanium case, they feel different. It's a softer, you know, a softer metal. Yes, titanium scratches easily, but you get that lightweight, you get that good, you know, it looks real good. It's very warm to the touch. It's not cold like steel, like this, this feels warm. It's summer here and, um, I can tell it's definitely been outside. Um, the bezel looks nice. Everything lines up very, very well, as far as I can tell. Um, it looks really, really good. I'm really excited about this one. I'm excited to wear it to the movie. Yeah, it's not a real one, but shoot, this is gonna get me by. Gives you the feel and the looks of the original without being the original and spending the 10 grand. Um, I think this one was 240. Um, I bought it on eBay. You got to watch out. There's a lot of Heimdaller sellers that are not uh, authorized dealers. Be careful with that. If you go to Heimdaller's website, they have an authorized dealer or actually a blacklisted dealer um, page. Make sure you check that out if you're interested in one of these. There's some that are selling, I don't know if they're selling counterfeit Heimdallers, which sounds odd. <laughs> Being this is a Chinese watch and it's not very expensive. And it's kind of an homage, so, but yeah, I got it from an official authorized dealer on eBay. It took about two weeks here from China to to get to uh, get to me. wasn't bad at all. Would have been here sooner if not for the holiday weekend. Um, but yeah, this one I think does sell out pretty often. It's a very popular watch for them. So if you can get your hands on it, cool. There's what it looks like on the wrist. It just looks just awesome. Very lightweight. Honestly, the most of the weight you feel is from the bracelet. It's such a strange, it just, it's almost like you're not wearing a watch. It's incredible. I, I really like it. And the thing is, is this one costs, I think, 240 bucks. And so if I beat it up or whatever, I can always buy another one. And um, it's not a big deal. So very exciting. Very happy to get my hands on this one. Very cool clasp. Um, this is going to be really hard to do behind the camera. Basically, you thread this through, and then it's got the same kind of push to push into two, excuse me, two pushers deployment of it. So once you fit it in there, um, it's really easy to, to get on the wrist. So very cool, excited about this one. Um, I know NH35 Seiko movements are always pretty hard to beat. So if you're, uh, if you're interested in it so far, so good, I would definitely take the plunge based off of fit and finish alone. It, it looks very, very impressive. The crown's not signed, but for this price with the titanium case, you've got to cut corners somewhere, you know, or else you're going to get up to a $500 watch, which for an homage watch is a little steep for me. So anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, leave your comments down below. Thank you.